Hey, welcome back to another video. So we're looking to play a deck today. Um, I, I, I keep trying to find ways to really be able to make Shark Typhoon a thing. I just really want to try and make this card work. So we're trying a few different decks to get there. This one is a version where I'm focusing on non-creature spells. So if I'm going to be playing a bunch of non-creature spells, how do I get the most value out of that? Uh, so we got a couple Whirlwind of Thoughts in here. So this helps fuel uh, when we were playing a non-creature spell, drawing those cards back, turns everything into a cantrip, basically. Uh, Kaker here, here um, gets us spirits that we can sack to make mana, which helps us go on a little bit further. Uh, Shahili also is great when we're casting these non-creature spells, we're making the servos. So that's really the heart of it. Uh, and now we'll just go through like the non-creature spells that we have. I think the only creature we actually are running is Sprite Dragon, because every time we play a non-creature spell, it's getting bigger. So ton of value that we're getting here. So in terms of non-creature spells, uh, we've got Opts, uh, it cantrips, it, it's early, it's good early, it's good late. Just all around good card. Unsummon, uh, good tempo. Raise the alarm is how we can get some additional creatures down while still uh, being able to uh, trigger a non-creature spell. Some counter package just to keep things in track. So we've got some essence scatter, some negates, uh, and some mystical disputes. Uh, radical idea, a two for one draw spell, basically. Uh, you get a draw and then I can um, draw a card again uh, with the jump start there. We've got one of these Warrant Wardens. I'm trying this out to see how I like it. Uh, it's good at the tempo advantage of having them get a, putting a creature on top. I'm hoping that we can try that later as well with the Warden side to make a, a Finx with flying and attacking. That also would make a five mana shark if we get that far. Conclave Tribunal because hopefully we've got some Shahili or some Raise the Alarms and we're getting enough creatures out that we can Conclave this out. Uh, Elspeth as well for being able to conclave it comes down as a non-creature but gives us an opportunity to get some creatures because we're also cycling through a lot of cards we should be able to escape it if we need to and of course uh, the shark typhoon whirlwind and Kagar. the lands are um, they're a little rough <laughs> we've got three basics and or four basics here and then the rest is Basically using all the different dual lands and, and temples I have just because there's there's a lot of colors and a lot of mana needs in this deck. All right, let's get into some games and, and see if we can't make some sharks. Okay, so back for another game here. Um, this hand could be better, but we're going to keep it anyway. Uh, I've got Opt, which should help it get a little better. I've got an Unsummon if we need to. The Conclave might work out to our might work out for us but we just aren't doing a whole ton okay eh, the radical idea will be nice so we'll play this tapped because uh, it is going to be our only blue source for a little while two temple of abandons all right so I can Temple of Epiphany here, which I think is going to be a little better. Uh, it's going to allow me to get a little deeper. Raise the Alarm is, yeah, I'm all right with a Raise the Alarm. And then we know that we can opt to get that back. Now I guess the question is, do I need to actually opt or do I, I already know I'm going to draw that. So I may as well just let myself draw that. And then opt later. I don't I don't get a ton of value out of the opt. I just basically get to raise the alarm in my hand, which doesn't do a ton for me. Uh alright. This could get shaky quickly. Do you have anything to bring back? Uh no, this one cast instant. So when it attacks. Yeah, I, I'm sure he's gonna play that next turn, but I don't know what he's gonna do with that, so. We'll just lose some tempo, um, but we'll play that. We'll return to his hand. And I don't have to, I might end up opting. So let's play, well, I can play the planes here uh, because I can still raise the alarm and opt if I need to.
Hmm. I'm curious what he's going to. Uh... Oh, from your graveyard. What does he have? He doesn't have anything in the graveyard. Okay. I guess we we'll just let this come in. There's nothing he has in his graveyard to play with it. Um, okay, so I'm going to. I'm the radical idea here. Let's just get some card drawing going on. Okay, and I'm gonna opt as well. We're just gonna dig and see what we need. I don't think I need more lands, so let's bottom that. Essence scatter. Ooh, excellent. The K card will be fantastic here. So let's play land, drop the K -ker. I'm guessing he's going to find a way to burn it out, and if he does, that's sad. This triggers on attack, so although I can trade and block it, um, that opens this up to a shock, which he's probably running. So I want to be careful about doing that. It doesn't have anything in the yard yet to bring back with the Dreadboard Anarchist. Oh, this could get bad quickly. I see. So he growth cycles, it sees itself. He makes a massive creature. Uh, that's going to hurt. Because it has trample as well. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. I don't want to trade, though. We'll hit him with a nice. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So I'm going to be able to make a fair amount of mana and creatures here this turn. I don't think I like where he's going with this Dreadhorde Anarchist. Um, so I'm just going to look to remove it with the Conclave Tribunal. Uh, but I want to make sure that I can do that with as much for as little as possible. So we're going to raise the alarm first. Now I can tap these three and sack the spirit. Uh, will that let me do it? So how will this work? If I convoke this out, one, two, three, and can I sack this? Pay one. Will this let me activate the ability? Uh, sack for one. Nice. And we replace the spirit. So let's get rid of the Dreadhorde. It's the Anarchist. And I can Essence Scatter if he goes to play one. Uh, and yeah, let's attack in. So if he doesn't play one, I can raise the alarm again. If he does play another Dreadhorde Anarchist, I can Essence Scatter it. Actually, I'll probably Radical start. Uh, creatures you control gain haste until end of turn. Okay, I'm all right with that coming in. I just want to wait for the creature that he plays. It has Defender, so he's going to scry off of that. But I think he's going to be looking for another Dreadhorde Anarchist. Uh, To target creature with flying. Well... That makes me sad inside. He does not have enough to play another anarchist, so let's go ahead and draw a card, get some extra value off of this. Discard a card. I can get rid of a sacred foundry here. Mm. Sad. Goodbye. Okay, so I can either keep up. Do I want to play the Whirlwind of Thought? I think I want to be able to, I, I, I do want to watch out for him playing yikes, um, the Anarchist getting the value. So I want to hold out the Essence Scatter. So I think instead we will play a Hollowed Fountain. Uh, I can let it enter tapped because I have the four mana I need up. And I mean, let's get frisky, right? What's he going to do? So this lets me hold up my Raise the Alarm, Essence Scatter. 
And then next turn I can play this, pay the two life, and hold up Essence Scatter if I need to uh, with the Whirlwind of Thought. Uh, that will get out of hand quickly, but I think I'm going to need to accept that. And he'll give that haste and attack in, and that's just kind of unfortunate. But I just don't want him getting the value off of these, um, of the anarchists. Uh, okay. That's, that's annoying. We're gonna be content, we're gonna be dealing with a lot of tokens. Uh, we'll have to see if we can get like a Shahili or something to out token him. Um, I don't think that raising the alarm will help. I'm not able to make enough to make it worth it. Oof. This is so much scry. Maybe I should have, I probably should have best and scattered this. This was going to get out of hand and I should have predicted that. Uh, yeah, we'll take the damage here. And let's raise the alarm at the end of his turn. Pay two life. Uh, play the whirlwind, leaving up. Yep, okay, that lets us leave out both the Mystical Dispute and the Essence Scatter. And I'll keep my tokens up here um, to block his Cranko. Yeah, alright, so let's Essence Scatter and we get to draw a card off of that. Sweet. Raise the alarm. Nice. And I'm sure. Smooth sprint. So, oh, one, two, three, four, five. So he's going to turn into a six, six. I was getting extra counter on it already. Eesh. We might be taking a beating here. Well, it doesn't have trample. So maybe we'll trade. Yikes. Yikes. Definitely should have countered that. I think this is now out of reach. Uh, well, anyway, let's block it for a turn and maybe we'll look to get rid of a few tokens. What are our outs? I don't really know. Bounce a Cranko, actually. An Unsummon would be really good here. Um, actually, an Unsummon would be really, really good. So that's what I want to hunt for. You are not Unsummon. Ooh, but you let me get closer to looking for one because I can play you for turn. Ooh, Shark Typhoon. I'd like to play that so much. Does it help me though? Not really. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I can radical idea here, leaving up mystical dispute if I need to. Draw an extra card. Okay. This buys us another turn. I can raise the alarm on their turn. Um, I don't really, they've got, yikes. Yikes. Uh, 
I mean, there's no point in, like, we'll let this guy die for now. There's no point in trying to kill it, because uh, we're going to hold up for playing our two blockers. Will that be enough to save me, though? Uh, maybe we will draw an essence scatter off of it. So before he, yeah. So before he attacks, we'll play raise the alarm. Oh, what's happening here? Uh, let's just see what comes off the top. But I think the trample might be enough to do us in. Oh, does this give us enough? Does this give us enough? And that's going to come in for a lot. So that's going to be for four. Yeah, I don't think that gives us enough. So let's see what it does. But yeah, that's it. We're done on this one. Definitely should have countered the Cranko. So this is definitely a bit of a slower start to the game, but Elspeth is pretty solid. Um, the Radical Idea helps us move along, so we're, we're gonna keep this and just see how it goes. We're gonna hope to play against a little bit of a slower deck. Okay, an island is a, definitely a good sign for that. Um, I, got, I need my white and I don't need red yet, so we'll play this. Uh, we'll play the Hollow Fountain. I'll let it enter tapped. I don't need to take the damage because I have nothing to do with it anyway. Okay, so I think we're playing against the uh, Flash deck, either Mono Blue or potentially uh, like a Blue White or Blue Black. So I would like to uh, Radical Idea on their turn probably. So let's play the Island. Uh, yeah, we can just, in response to this, it doesn't negate, okay. Inner Kraken's kind of cool in that deck, I, I like it. I don't have any three drops, so let's get this down, tapped for now. And that lets me still raise the alarm or radical idea if I need to. And the gate still stays up. Are we getting Krakens? Yes, we're getting Tentacles. Mm, no blocks here. I don't really need to raise the alarm to block it. Can't block the flyer and no Tentacle coming in. Uh, so for my turn. Do I want to raise the alarm? Uh, I don't think so. I think, actually, maybe I do so that I can get uh, the Conclave Tribunal down for a little less. That lets me, that lets me play, that lets, yeah, okay. I like doing that actually. So this lets me leave up Negate and play a Conclave Tribunal on the bracket here. Uh, so to make sure I have enough up, let's play the Steam Vents. I'm gonna pay two life. So we'll play the Conclave Tribunal. I want to let make sure this convokes it. How? Uh, okay, so good. It holds up to pay. Let's one, two, and it auto paid with those other two. Okay. Uh, no, you are going to let me play this. Uh, negate you. Goodbye, Natter Kraken. Yeah, okay, so the raise the alarm was definitely the right play there, being able to leave up the negate. Now we can play in Hellspeth next turn. Hmm, should be all right. Okay, uh, I am going to keep up the mana. So he's going to make some tokens off of this. I don't know if I like him doing that. 
Because I think that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm going to conclave this as well. And we'll hold up the radical idea. Mystical Dispute will be uh, great in this matchup, so depending on what he does, I may Radical Idea for Mystical Dispute. Well, I'll hope to get Mystical Dispute at least. And we'll take our beating of two. That's unfortunate, but it happens. Elspeth will... Not exactly put a stop to that. Although gaining five life will definitely help. So uh, let's dump my sacred foundry here draw a card opting in response okay I mean, if he counters it I'm okay with that Oh, we did get the Mystical Dispute, which is pretty sweet. And an Opt. Um, I don't really want to pay life again. I can avoid it. So I've got a Mystical Dispute, which actually will be able to be played on one. So I think I'm okay, actually, to play Elspeth here. So the question is, do I want to gain the life? Um, I'm going to have blockers up. I think that I'm okay to make some tokens. I think I'm okay to make some tokens. Regards in the graveyard. So we will have enough to escape soon as well. Make some tokens. And I mean, might as well get these guys. Okay, yeah, draw your card. Now you're tapped out. That's cool. Well, let's get in for a couple damage. So I've got the man open to opt or mystical dispute now, which is great. He's probably also running mystical disputes, though. So I got a couple turns, like, yeah, unless he pumps this somehow, which is definitely an option. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, that's a big no, hard pass there, hard pass. So we definitely, yeah, okay, he's going to attack the in for one, I, I think we just got to let that happen. Uh... I think we'll play the steam vents. We'll let that enter the battlefield tapped. And I'm not going to be able to gain the life. Um, so let's instead get a little bit of damage in. Force him to block this. Get rid of his tentacle. We'll get three damage in. Okay. All right, so we're probably going to be looking to opt uh, on this turn, maybe in response to if he's trying to kill Elspeth. Um, probably going to look to escape her back next turn and pump some knights again. Yeah, I think he'll, he'll look to kill her this turn, I would expect. Mm. And we may end up drawing a counterspell out when we escape. I'd love to be able to have counter back up for when I... Because um, I'm going to be taking six mana to play her, which is going to tap me out entirely, leaving me open to whatever rule and then usual thing this guy has in his mind. Uh, let's see if we can get an essence scatter off of this. 
and stop like the cracking oh <laughs> better to be lucky than good now does he have a negate or something in response or a sinister sabotage probably and that's not it he's tapped out so he can't counter Elspeth by player this turn. Uh, I I don't need to hold up any. Do I want to? So the question is, do I want to pay two life to pretend that I have an, a mystical dispute? And I think I do. I think I do. Because especially if I go down this low, he's going to think that I've got something going on to do that for. So we're going to pretend that we have that up uh, and we'll get rid of one two three four and we'll just look to get get in for six Oh dear, oh dear. I did not mean to attack with all. Well, I couldn't block this anyway. Blue does not really have haste, but Agent of Treachery is really not where we want it to be. He just jammed that. He just jammed that. Oh man. Hey, did he miss? Okay, he could have put up on it for two. God, I, I hate Agents of Treachery so so much. Oh god, that card just upsets me viscerally. viscerally. What are we opting for? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, that stops his flyer. Can I play it? One, two, three, four. I can. Uh, so that blocks his flyer. Uh, he might pump it and we trade, and that's fine. That's fine if he does that. I think if he uses this, though, I should be able to get it back to escape. So I like that. Still uh, pretending to have a mystical dispute here. Probably should have put this. I didn't like that it actually didn't let me. He just jammed that. Didn't even wait to see if I had a counter. Uh, so he's going to pump, I would assume. Uh, or he will bounce that pump and then attack in. All right. So you're going to pump and kill me? There you go. Okay. Well, we got close there, but not quite enough. The Agent of Treachery. Ugh. Ugh. I hate this card. I hate it so much. All right, though. That was a good game. This is a pretty solid hand. Um, I've got Dorat into Shahili. Uh, probably will look to cycle the Shark Typhoon. So I think we're in an okay spot. I'm going to opt... Beach. Uh, I really do need a land to. Hit. I'd like to hit she. Well, I don't want to end up taking four damage without knowing what I have. So I think we'll actually let this enter tapped. Because uh, I'm going to need to let this one come in for two life to play Dorat here on turn two. Hey. hey. Uh, so let's pay the two life. Play our Dorat. Excellent. And attack in for one. Does he have Heartless Act to kill this poor counter? Poor Reeve Soul. Okay. Why? Wow, that's a less than ideal card. Um, I'm going to play Shahili here and use my ops to get some uh, servos off of that. Is he, I don't think, would have a Haster to come in? Probably no direct damage, so we should be able to get a blocker, some blockers down to protect it a bit, depending on what he plays. Okay, so we're going to temple, see what we got. 
gate. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. I don't need to play this right away. I can negate to draw this if I need to. Otherwise, we'll just hang on to that for now. Yep, so we'll draw the negate and I will play my... Let's main phase opt. See what we have right now. I'm holding a second opt back just to decide whether or not we want to play the Sacred Foundry or not. Okay. Sure. You want to use your removal on a servo and make a food? Sure. Raise the alarm. Uh, I like that. I like raise the alarm. So I don't need to, I can play this tapped. Uh, this still lets me leave up for opt or negate if I need to and raise the alarm. So I'm happy there. Um, I hope there's some broader play for why he decided to destroy a servo and make a food. Probably is. Uh, so let's opt at the end of his turn. And okay, I'm gonna raise the alarm in response and make more of them. I'm kind of confused what he's doing. Uh, I think I want to jam the shark typhoon. To be honest here, I think that's where we want to be. And I'm alright to pay the two life and just jam this. I am leaving myself up to a turn not getting negated, but but just look at this, like the value of these two is so good. So let's get in there. Cause now this turns into uh sharks and servos. So there's no way he's got the remove Okay, Shatter the Sky. Yeah, you know what? I'm alright with that. I'm fine with that. Do they have haste? I don't think so. They don't. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we'll end a turn, look to get the end of his turn. We'll raise the alarm, which will give us four creatures, including a flying shark. Yeah, gain your life. That's okay. This dude must do something eventually. Played so much creature destruction on my recurring tokens. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's just attack in there. So I can negate to get more value. Um, sure. Like... I think he's trading at card disadvantage there. Oh, oh, second shark typhoon. Oh, I can't not. How do, oh, it triggers. I'm gonna get a six, six shark off of this. Oh yeah. All right, let's attack in here first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's play our second shark typhoon. I don't need to leave the mana up right now. Double Shark Typhoon and the Shahili. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'll uh, enter the battlefield tapped. And yes. Please play something I can conclave tribunal. Like, I'm just infinitely confused what this dude is doing. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, okay. So I can make a servo a copy of a shark too, using the minus if I need to. For the most part, I don't. The minus is just flavor text, but every once in a while, uh, making a copy of something can be pretty solid. Especially if it's a 6-6 six, six shark like we had that, I mean, he killed it. Good for him. 
Uh, destroy a target non-line permanent if it's a creature or if... Okay. I, I don't really know what he's... I don't really know what he's on about because anything he plays, I'm going to get more value. I'm just going to keep attacking him, so I'm all right with this. Like, anytime you play, if he plays something, it's not worth negating these. Like, I'm going to draw my card draw and, and get more value out of it, but if he wants to keep spending all this removal on these, that's fine. Like, at some point, he needs to do something besides kill my creatures. Uh, just play another removal spell on this? Sure, man. You do you. I think he thinks I just have lands in my hand. Uh, so I'm just waiting for him to literally do something. Uh, we'll do that at the end of his turn just to get some damage through. Well, sorry, we'll raise the alarm at the end of his turn. So, because some of his stuff has been sorcery speed, so that slows him down a bit. And this, like, look at this. Two mana. I'm about to make two flying sharks, servos. Like, look, look, look at that board presence off one card. And you want to keep just destroying them, like going one for one? I trade way ahead on that. So, I can... I don't know what he's going to do. Shatter the sky? No. All right. I don't know what his deck did, but but I'll take it. All right, we're back for another game here. Um, this looks like a decent keep. I've got the door at. I've got some interaction. I think we'll keep seven here. Uh, we're going to look to probably go temple first, um, which doesn't let me opt, but it's going to let me... Let me, like, I, I'm okay holding on to the opt, because um, I've got to turn, yeah, I definitely want to draw that. That'll be great. I want to play the door at anyway on turn two, so I don't need to opt into something, and I'll get the value off of the opt later. Okay, so I think we're playing against the cycling deck. Um, against the cycling deck... I'm going to definitely look to unsummon this flourishing fox as he's probably going to look to invest in making that bigger. And when he does, I'll cycle it or I'll um, unsummon it, resets it. Um, and that should help. Second one. Okay. I like where he's at. And we'll cycle it. They both get bigger. Good start. It's a very good start for the cycling deck. I'm going to pay the two life because I want to be able to keep all of these up. Uh, so we're actually going to main phase opt here, I think. Uh, I'll take another opt for sure. And although it could get an extra point of damage through, I'd rather... Um, you know what? I, I think that I'm not likely to counter something, so we're going to opt again, I think. Yeah, I think I would like to have a Conclave Tribunal. That'll be great. So I'm not playing the next one because in case I want to unsummon something, which is definitely a possibility. Like if he invests heavily into uh, cycling this turn to get these two, I can bounce one when it attacks to get some value. Ooh, ooh, yikes. A third Flourishing Fox, that's a... That is going to be a lot of damage coming through. It also really reduces the value of me unsummoning one. It's going to make Dora bigger, so we might do it anyway. Because he can't, like, what it allowed, like, it's going to let it go back, and then he'll probably look to cycle it again. He's a great. He should not be doing it this this quickly. So, 
we're just gonna unsummon right now because he's already played his land for the turn like if i were him i'd be doing this um as late as possible so that you can try and at least bait it So let's see, if I play Raise the Alarm, will that give me enough? That's going to give me one, two, three. It doesn't quite get me where I need to be. Uh, so I think I will main phase Radical Idea here. Oh, I also don't have the... Well, yeah, I don't have white mana anyway. So let's dig for some... See what we get for the mana. It's not exactly what we were hoping for. Don't need to pay the two life. Uh, and let's just... Um, I mean, let's just beat him with this. And I think we'll, we're will we just going to really try and optimize damage here and see if we can out damage him because oh, I'll take that. Um, should have actually probably... Yeah, I played that in the wrong order. Am I going to die here for seven... Eight, nine, 10, 11. If he has three cyclers, so we know he has one, we just might be dead here. That's nine damage right now. That is 11. And he's got a fox. All right. Bit of a punt. Definitely a bit of a punt. I could have killed him next turn. Oof. Man, I think if we had played that land better... Yeah, we should have left the Raise the Alarm because they don't trample. Oh, man. That would have probably bought us one more turn and would have been game. Well, so we were able to beat the Cycling deck in theory had I uh, <laughs> had I, had I played that a little better because um, we would have been able to then raise the Alarm uh, blocking two. Uh, this would have been just as big as a 6-6. Six, six. That would have got through... He may have had his unit in his hand, but I think we would have been able to get through again. So aside from that misplay, um, solid. All right, so wrapping up quickly, I kind of like the deck. Um, there used to be a pretty decent uh, Shahili deck that existed uh, a couple standards ago, and I think this is still pretty solid. Um, good interaction, um, good sort of tempo plays, and then once you start getting the Shark Typhoon Link, you saw against like a deck that just runs a lot of removal, like we saw in there in game two that deck literally ran all removal but assuming that he didn't run he had some interaction we had the conclaves and the negates and so once you weather the early game you're in an all right spot even that last game there that was a that was probably one of the best starts that the um that the cycling deck can get and had we just played a little more intelligently with our lands that game would have been won so I would say uh, it's not an un, it's not a bad deck. The biggest hurdle is really the lands. So as you can see, just an absolute ton of uh, rare lands that you kind of need because we're playing a lot of colors. Um, Kekar was good. Maybe not necessary. This could be like it, it gets equivalent value uh, for playing the spells. So maybe one more instead of the whirlwinds. Maybe you use it with it. Hard to say. Elspeth was decent. Uh, I mean, not not like we lost to it because they stole it. So maybe if they didn't steal it, we wouldn't be in a great spot. But being able to make your 1-1s one bigger is pretty solid. So at a bare minimum, it's a pretty fun deck to play. So worth a shot. Uh, please make sure you give it a like. Uh, leave a comment to flame me for my misplay in that last game. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to never miss a video. Uh, plus, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, uh, both at Twitter and Twitch slash Grandfrad to make sure you never miss when I post a video or go live on stream. Thanks and have a good day.